Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is James from PS Audio, and today I will show you how to update the Bridge 2 firmware on a DSD DAC. So you'll see here that we do have a new update button. Uh, we, were, we implemented this within the last two updates. Um, first thing you want to check is to see what um, version of bridge code I already have now. I have 3.3.3 here on here uh, now, and so I'll definitely want to update that. And of course, I do have Red Cloud up at the top. Absolutely verify that you have that. So I'll go back, hit the back button, and then I'll go ahead and hit that update button. And you'll see it'll come up with a few uh, various settings, and you'll see firmware update here at the bottom left, and it is 3.6.2. I'll just go ahead and hit that button there, and it'll update. And you can normally expect this to take about five to 10 minutes and the DAC will absolutely power off once it's done and it should power back up and you should have the latest up uh, firmware on there. Alrighty, so the DAC just booted back up and we're still on this bridge input screen and I can verify that the update went successfully if I hit this gear icon on the top left. Um, and there we go, the bridge firmware, there it is, 3.6.2. Um, and we are good to go, and now we're ready to start streaming um, more Rune, M-Control, what have you. Now, if the bridge did n update did not go properly, which this one did not, um, one thing you can check is you'll see the network icon on the front is red. So that means there is no network connection. If I go into the settings, all it says is zero, zero, zero. That's just a bunch of crap. If it doesn't seem like you uh, have that bridge input anymore, what'll happen is you'll scroll through all the inputs and none of them will show up as bridge. Um, this is how you also know that um, the update did not go successfully because you cannot scroll to it. It's just gone as an input. You will be able, however, to select it with the remote, hit the bridge function, and you'll see now I can select it as an input, but if I go into the um, network settings, it'll be blank, not connected. So this is another indicator knowing that something has gone wrong. Now, one of the best ways you can tell if it's still not working properly so if I bring you to the back of the unit, you'll see that orange LED is no longer flashing. And if this is the case, um, you'll want to panic because your bridge is now corrupt and there's nothing you can do, it is now broken. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you can contact us, we'll be happy to get you working again. Uh, whatever it takes, we'll uh, get you a fixed bridge um, and just feel free to give us a call. Thank you.